Hi, welcome to Metro TV. I'm Caitlin. This is Teresa. Today we're going to be doing a bronzy eye. So we're going to first start with a gold base color right here. It's very light. You always want to start with a lighter color. That way if there's any oil in the eyelid, it will absorb that. Instead of putting a really dark color on and absorbing that oil, then you have a weird patch. So we're just applying this all over her eyelid from her lashes up to her brow bone because again, it is our base color. And just blend that in, make sure there's no creases or seams, especially right at the lash line here. Sometimes there's a little bit of skin that can get those little bumps. So you wanna buff those bumps out. Tap off your excess. You don't want all of that going all over your face. If you're messy, do your foundation last and your eye makeup first. And if you need to, you're just gonna lift at the lid so you do get into those creases. Whatever you need to do to make it easier on yourself. So we've finished blending our lighter colors. And now we're going to go into our darker color. So I'm going to switch brushes. We don't want muddy colors. And I'm going to go into our Spanish gold here. And again, dipping in and tapping off your excess. See how dark that is and how much stuff would be all over your face if you didn't tap. Okay, close for me. Now I'm just going to go onto her lid a little bit, make this nice and soft and diffused here. So we're just going to continue blending our Spanish gold. And I'm just going from the lid up towards the brow bone. You don't want to go all the way to the brow bone with this. If you go too high up, it's going to start looking overly dramatic. And we just want a soft, nice bronze look. I'm getting some more product on your brush and make sure you tap off that excess. You can't forget that. Starting at the lid and blending upward. Again, make sure that you don't go too high up all the way to the brow. If you go all the way to the brow, it does look a little bit too dramatic and we are just doing that natural, pretty beachy look. So now we've applied our second color. And if you notice, I am using this brush here. It's the Mud 800 brush. Um, the bristles are a little bit softer and further apart. When the bristles are like that, you get a softer wash of color versus using a denser brush where you get a more dramatic look. So if you want a softer look, you're going to use a softer brush. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with our darkest color here. We're gonna use brownstone. So we're just gonna tap into here and I am using a denser brush this time. It's a very similar shape to the 800. Um, this is the 810, but it is a little denser. Now keep your eyes open for me. We're going to go into her crease to create a little bit more dimension and depth. So we are doing our darkest color and we are doing it in the crease and I'm having her keep her eye open. Sometimes when you close your eye, you're guessing where your crease is and it ends up being too high or too low and we don't want that. So we're just going back and forth in like a windshield wiper type of motion and just blending that out. And we'll go on to the other eye. Again, go into our product, tapping off our excess. And again, she's gonna keep her eyes open and I'm just gonna go in here into her crease in the windshield wiper motion. I'm starting towards the center of her eye and just blending back and forth. Uh, obviously when you first lay your brush down is when you have the most product on it. So if you want it even across, you want to start in the center so you're blending evenly across. If you want a little bit more drama out here, sometimes we like to do that, then you would lay your brush down here first and blend inward. And then I'm going to soften these edges as well. And then what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're not going past this line here. Once you start coming out here, you can easily droop the eye. And we don't want sad eyes. We just want nice, lifted, youthful looking eyes with a pretty bronzy beach look. So now we're going to apply our eyeliner. We have um, our brown liner today in pencil. The pencil's nice because you can smudge it out and make it look really nice and soft. Close. And I'm gonna lift here. If you're doing your own makeup, you never wanna pull this out this way. You end up bunching your line up and also when you let go, your line ends up being a lot thicker than you thought it was because it had been previously stretched. So if you're going to pull your eyelid at all, you wanna lift from the top. So we're just gonna lift from the top here. Line it right up into the base of her lash line at the root of her lashes. So as I'm doing this, I'm just doing little short overlapping strokes. It's kind of hard to get a smooth continuous line with a pencil, so these short overlapping strokes work better. And you do always want to start here. You can build it up if you want to. Build it up like this, make it a little bit thicker, but you always want to start at the root of the lash. That way you don't have a gap of skin in between the lashes and the liner. And you can always smudge it out too. So if you're not good at eyeliner, you can, when in doubt, smudge it out. We're going to just repeat the process on this side. Again, you're lifting the lid up, not stretching the lid out. So we're lifting up, doing our short overlapping strokes. 
all the way from the corner into here. Um, I always do it a little bit short of the first lashes. That way, again, we're not drooping the corner of the eye. If I would start all the way out here, I'm gonna droop her eye. So I'm starting in about here and then going in towards her nose. And again, we're gonna just thicken this line up just a little bit more. So we did keep her liner pretty thin here. Um, just because we are doing a natural look today, you could make the liner a lot thicker and that way you would get a more dramatic look. You could also line the bottom and smudge that out a little bit and get a little bit more of a dramatic look that way as well. But like I said, we're keeping it natural for today. You know, you're supposed to be looking like you're going to the beach. So we're just gonna keep it simple. Next, we're going to be doing our mascara. And this is how you do a bronzy summer eye look. Thank you for joining us at Metro TV. I'm Caitlin, this is Teresa. Check us out on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter.